all right so we're back and today we're going to be looking at this new feature which is quite a big feature and this is called forums i don't know the ins and outs yet i'm still getting used to the feature because it's quite big so there's a lot to learn but i'm going to give you a breakdown of what i know so far we're just going to go over some of the like settings and all that so let's get started <laughs> Alright, so we're here in my server. This is the only server that I have that has this forums feature. So I don't know how you get this. It seems like another feature where you just get randomly picked. Like I might have mentioned before, I don't agree with that, but that's just how it is. I'm pretty sure it's still in beta because it seems like there's still things that need to be changed, like using webhooks. So I'm going to start by creating the channel. Now this is going to get complicated because everyone's going to see it, so I'm going to have to make this private. So if we just click create channel, so forum, create a space for organized discussions, learn more. I think that takes you to a blog post. And we can type in a forum name here. We can't type capitalized letters. So we're going to have to type this in like it's a text channel. Let's just call this a news forum. Let's pretend we're going to use it for news. I've already started using it for that kind of thing, and I'll show you that later. So next, so I'm going to select who can see it. So you can select roles. And you can also select people so whatever you enter here will be whitelisted so only people and roles selected here will be able to see this forum all right i'm just going to select this right here this is my alt so essentially no one's going to be able to see it create channel and here we are the news forum so because this is quite a big feature and it's quite complicated especially seeing it for the first time this could actually give you a few things here to help me out which is great only moderators see this so this is a new forum interface. So you can start a conversation here, but we're gonna do this first. So set recommended permissions. Communities that let everyone post typically see more engagement. Well, this is funny because I'm gonna make this a news forum. So people won't be able to talk in it, just admins and all that. So anyway, gonna click that. You can create a post. Interesting, it only has roles here. So you can only enter roles here, but you can't enter users. That is interesting. I don't know why that is. All right, it turns out when I selected my alt before, that was just who can see the channel, not who can post in it. Click guidelines. So this guidelines here, this is literally like a channel topic. So if I go in my channel topic here, yeah, it's just like this. I mean, it literally says, let everyone know how to use the channel. So it's essentially a channel topic. I don't know why it says guidelines. It's actually got this new interface here. So this basically helps you with markdown. You could do markdown before, like you could do bold text and all that. But there is never an interface here. Now, something interesting, if I go in my places here, as you can see, I can type news with a capital N and I can put spaces. So you may be thinking that's great. We could put spaces and forum channels and capitalized letters, just like a voice channel. Well, that's not true because if I save changes, Discord decides to pull a Rick roll and I cannot actually do that. So that's unfortunate. So let's just say, get the latest news in the server. For some reason I wanna make this bold just because it gives me the option. Tags, I'm not gonna create these from here. I'm gonna create them in the forum itself. Default reaction, so basically when you set up a post, it will give this button here under the post and people can react to it. They can react to it with any emoji, but this is like the one that will preview here. The default reaction will be what you select here. So let's put a thumbs up icon. And add a slow-mo, five seconds is a minimum, just like with text channels. You can age restrict it. Because I'm making this private and it's going to be for news, I don't want this to archive too quickly. So if I set this to one week, then if I create a post, after a week it will archive. And that's I talk in it again. But because no one will be talking in it, because it's a news channel, it would just be for the news posts. And whenever there's new news, then there will be another post created. So it gives long enough for the message to get out, for people to read it. You can't turn this off, which is weird. You can't do that with threads, I don't think. It's the same kind of thing. You can always unarchive it later or archive it early if you would like. So I'm going to save that. Permissions, you can do more things here, just like you can with text channels. And you can invite people specifically to this forum, like you can with a channel. And you can create webhooks. But these don't actually work at the moment, I don't think. Because if you create a webhook, you can make it inside the news forum, but you can't make it inside the post itself. So basically, if you want to send a webhook in bed, if you know anything about that, Discord will let you send it to the news forum, which wouldn't actually do anything. Because you can't send it to the news forum, you need to send it in a post within the forum, if that makes sense. But you can't select send it within a post, which is weird. But I'm sure they'll work that out. If you're like knowing Discord, they would just remove that functionality entirely, so you won't be able to use embeds here. If that's the case, then I'll probably stop using this forum's feature for like, news and all that, because I do like using embeds. And make the first post is the final thing. See examples. So there's some examples here if you want to check those out. So I guess Discord knows that this is very confusing in large features, so they want to break it down as much as possible, make it very clear how to use it. I'm going to get to tags in a minute. I hope I remember to get to that. I'm going to create a post first. So you need to click here or start a conversation. Yeah, I don't know why it's telling me to read the guidelines. Clearly this is a beta feature. It just screams beta if it's telling me to read my own guidelines. So I'm going to make up some fake news here. So I'm going to call it new channel. Let's just say I added a new channel in my server and I want to announce it here. So new channel has been released. That's the headline. Obviously this whole news thing is just an example. You can make a forum 
for like public discussion. I will show you one of those later that I set up. Enter a message. So I've just typed my message here. Just click this to add an image. I guess it just attaches an image to it. That would make sense. Oh, actually, you can delete here. I didn't see the image because it's the same color, apparently. I'm just going to add this for some reason. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So there's the image right there. Uh, you can spoil that, of course, modify it. Personally, I prefer to do all this after I've created a post, so let's create a post. And it will take you to this here. So this is when I like to add the image and all that. And as I was saying earlier, the default reaction down here is this thumbs up icon. And it actually shows over here, which is interesting. Now it gives you this split view here, which is nice, but you don't have to have this split view. You can make it full screen, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So you can react to posts, so you can add anything you want. So if you want to put this in full screen, then you can do open in full view. And there we go. And I'm just going to go through more of the options here. So you can follow or unfollow the posts. I don't know what that does necessarily. And some more options, pin post, never actually done that. And I guess that will just put that on top of other ones rather than being on chronological order. So if I made two posts after this, they would go above and this would be pushed to the bottom. But because I pinned it, that wouldn't be the case unless I pinned the other ones, of course. So that's how to make a forum and how to make a forum post. Oh yeah, tags. So you can create a tab to help people organize their posts into subcategories. Maximum 20 characters. So if you have multiple posts, well, I'm actually just going to show you. So this is essentially what I created just then, latest news thing. But this is one I've set up before. So it's the same thing. So as you can see, I have my posts here and it actually puts older posts under older posts. So if they're archived, then it'll be under older posts. I'm actually going to unarchive that. Now, as you can see, these things here. So right here, it says new video plus two, new video, ano, and news. So these are the tags. So you can create a tag over here. And basically when you create a tag, you can add them to the posts to tag the post basically. So I guess if you click news here, it will just show you ones with news. Although that's literally, okay. although that's literally everyone here. If I just search my new video, then it only gives me posts, which has the tag new video. And in this case, news as well. So that's how tags work. And as you can see, this looks just like threads. So this is the forum here. And then it's got these individual channels underneath, which looks just like threads. It's the same kind of UI. Right, last thing we're going to look at is one of the other forums I made. This is a public forum, so anyone can post in it. This is just, I literally set this up as soon as I got the feature on my server. And anyone can create a post. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of posts here. So this is anyone basically making a post and anyone can talk in it. So this is what it looks like when people are talking in it. Just looks like a normal channel, pretty much. Other than this bar here and this follow thing. This member sidebar over here. This seems to be whenever someone posts within the post, they will get added to the sidebar over here. That doesn't mean people that aren't here can't see the channel. They can, because Me6 posted this level up message here and got added to the sidebar over here. Right, if you click follow, add this post to your channel list and receive notifications about it. And when I click that, that added me over here. If I unfollow, it took me off. All right, somehow this video is coming in at whopping 24 minutes. So this is going to take a while to edit. And by the way, if you haven't seen my video on Discord's built-in auto mod they're adding, check out the video on this end card now. And one more thing, I now have a new tier of memberships on my channel, which is only 99 cents a month. If you want to check it out, click the join button below. Thank you in advance. It really means a lot. Thank you.